Hey, welcome to Alva's Music. This is Seth's Tone Zone. I am your host, Seth, as always. And today I'm bringing you a massive, and I mean massive, just to set up time alone. Uh, from my uh, pal back behind the camera, Zach was exciting and crazy, and it still looks like a mess, but <laughs> we work with what we got. <laughs> we need bigger tables and everything else. Uh, I'm doing a massive Tube Screamer shootout with a whole bunch of different Tube Screamers that we have here. Uh, it's not the original Tube Screamer. We don't carry those by Ibanez, but that pedal came out, the original one, which is based off what they call 808 circuit, came out in like... I think it was like 1981 or 1979 or something somewhere around there it was really a long time ago now and i'm dating myself here um and since then especially in the 90s people went nuts on mods and they're still doing it today so they've just gotten more creative more control and crazier uh since its inception and uh, as a uh, case in point with, I had to throw it in here. One of these ones is the JHS Bonsai, which has like nine different tube screamers in it, different variants. I thought I'd just throw that in to show the versatility of how these tube screamers are going now. And uh, these clones, as, as you will, if you want to call them that, are going these days. Anyway, I'm going to get into it. Uh, first things first, I am playing a brand new... Sir, we, we're a Sir dealer now. I think I've mentioned that in other videos now. Sir, Custom Classic Antique. This is a great guitar. It has a roasted maple um, <laughs> neck. There you go, Seth. Jeez, it's a little early here. Uh, roasted maple neck, uh, rosewood fingerboard, of course, locking tuners, nice bridge humbucker in the bridge, pickup, two singles, five-way switch, Beautiful kind of, you know, that road-worn look. Uh, Sonic Blue, I'm guessing, is the color on this one. It's really light, though. <laughs> Sonic Blue is kind of interpreted different by every different maker and their paint colors and all that stuff. Anywho, um, great guitar. Come check them out. We have two other Sirs as well here in the store, and I'll probably show those off in other videos. It's just I showed one of them off before. We do have another one, which is... Super 80s, and I gotta show it off on the right kind of video. Um, always going, as always, going through the V40 Deluxe from Victory because it takes pedals so well. And 212 Celestian Creamback speaker, SM57 mic, blah, 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 blah. I talk too much, as always. But I need to because there's a lot of different pedals here. Um, let's see, we got the Seymour Duncan 805 Overdrive. The Ryra exact clone of an 808. It's called the 808, which is probably the closest one in out of this bunch, which is going to sound exactly like the original. We have the Clarksdale from Wampler, which has three band EQ on it and a smooth and a big switch. It's really the only difference there is the three band EQ as opposed to a one tone knob. We have the Dunes from Earthquaker Devices, which is really versatile. It's based off their big, big giant one they had called the Palisades, which had like a million things in it. Two Screamer sounds. They simplified it. It pretty much has a MOSFET clipping, the original silicone clipping, and no diodes going on as a switch. A bandwidth switch, which um, kind of goes from like a narrow bandwidth of a EQ and then big full sound and it also has I can't really read that control really quick oh normal and bright bandwidths over here <laughs> a normal and then you can kind of cut a lot of the lows out bright switch um, the Warhorn which I did recently it has a bass and treble control as well as a drive and level um, give you a little bit more versatility of course the 805 up here has a three band EQ Kind of like the Clarksdale. That's their feature. Uh, like I was saying, the Warhorn has the regular silicone clipping and asymmetrical clipping, which is more like the Boss SD1 kind of a thing. Different clipping, different kind of sound. This is the brand new Mythos Herculean. Uh, I already have played the old one in the past. This is their brand new one. He's simplified it to a bass treble control. Um... <clears throat> overall gain and a clarity control which is kind of like just like a tone pot it's, it's like a presence tone pot 
Um, very cool. And then, of course, the JHS Bonsai, which has your volume, tone, level, and like a million different two screamers. <laughs> and certain certain things work with certain ones. Wow, that's a lot of talking. It's time to play. So here we go. Here's my clean. There's a neck. I'll give you some of this. Here's that bridge humbucker just so you get a reference. Anyway, I like to play strats with a uh, neck pickup and two screamers. I'll probably mainly be doing that, but I'll try to show if it can get some more drive coming out of that humbucker as well. So that's my clean. Uh, controls are set flat. A little bit of reverb and ready to go there. So let's start with the 805. This is the cheapest one uh, being offered here, I believe. It's 179 and it has a three band EQ. I have everything set at noon, drive at noon, and let's just hear what it sounds like. As you can see, I could add some more bass, I could add some more trouble, I could take my mid out. mid though that's what this pedal's supposed to do cut wow it's early and i haven't played in a couple days okay i want to put this against the wampler clarksdale first because it's the most similar in features so that's here the Clarksdale, which has really cool, all the rest of these have just a true bypass switch, which is kind of clicky. These ones have true, they're called relay switches, which you can barely hear. They're so easy to switch on and off. That's one of the cool things I like about Wampler pedals in general. Here's the Wampler. kind of match what I'm doing here bass at six mids at six treble at six I like to do this on pedals kind of an amps I like to put everything at six as opposed to five I don't I don't know why probably OCD and I have it horribly so <laughs> 805 at those settings <laughs> Definitely cuts really good. Let's hear the Clark's down. Uh, a lot more low end. That one's cutting a lot more. That could be because the, the controls are active as opposed to, I don't know if it's passive or not on these other ones. Meaning as you turn them up, you're really adding more treble, more bass. So I can try to match that. I'm going to kind of Turn the bass down a little bit. See if that's close. That's really active controls. I like that. This here next to this. It's there, but there's more treble. It's really a. This is quite nice. If you if you're like a tone shaper. I would really recommend this Clarksdale. Um, just to give you a couple more. Actually, this here, here's what the 805 can't do as opposed to the Clarksdale. The Clarksdale has this big mode. It's gonna give you just a bigger sound, more gain. So this here, 805, at these settings. Actually, I'm gonna kinda neutralize it here. Let's hear what that sounds like. <laughs> too 
too big. It's not anything crazy. Let's hear the difference. Smooth. Oh, okay. It's almost like a blanket on there. Yeah. Just add some more low end. Yeah. Like. On the smooth? Yeah. On the, uh, on the big. big. It's also cutting more. If you, to be honest, the way the other that other one's cutting, it's very similar in that setting to the 805. Mm -hmm. But I, I got to hear these other pedals first. Let's hear the 80, the 808, which should be like my original kind of template tone, since it's the closest to what uh, original Two Screamer sounded like. This is the 808. I cannot think of anything to play today. I'm just kind of noodling, but that's I like that. That's a nice sound. Let's hear the Clark still compared to that. Pretty close. Maybe a little bigger. But dang close, man. These are all really nice. Let's hear the dunes. It's probably going to be the most radical of them all. It's got a lot of gain. That's what this bandwidth switch here. That's the full range. A lot of bass. Uh, it's also got this normal bright switch. I have it on the bright now. Let's hear what that does. It really cuts. I like that. That sounds really nice. Mess with the bandwidth on that one. So this is even more narrow EQ spectrum. It's really trebly. On the neck pickup bridge. This is that full range. Super low end. And that's on the bridge pickup. Super baby. Nice. And plus you got a tone control toes. Two toe. Toes. 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 Uh, let's see if turn that up if it gets a little bit more. Still retains a lot of that low end, but it gives a little bit more. I have that in silicone mode. This one has the most options uh, in the middle here. This is no diodes. Holy crap, that got loud. <laughs> That's a lot of volume. It's the most open. Not so much gain, more just like there. It's got some gain. It's definitely raging. Gosh, this thing has so much gain. Whew. That is a lot of gain. Then it has MOSFET mode, which the uh, MOSFET first appeared, I think, in the full drives by w Full Tone. Sound. That sounds really nice with a lot of gain there. Sorry, I'm kind of flying through these, but I gotta do something here. We gotta shoot some of these out here. This is the Warhorn. 
Ponte. This is the clipping switch. I'm trying to remember which one's which. I did this one once. It's hard to remember. I had to read up a lot, so <laughs> of course I forgot which way it's weird. That is definitely asymmetrical. It just cuts more. Back to silicone. This is traditional. in trouble really adds a lot this is nice it's big if I compare that to the 808 it's funny it, it, it like I like traditional two screamers I, sometimes I feel like all this extra stuff is like way too much but as you mess with them it's nice they're there's different characters about each of these that I like and then I dislike and that kind of a thing. So, um, here's the mythos. Let's see here. more traditional the bass is all the way down because I read that with it all the way down it's a traditional tube screamer so this one's gonna give you a heck of a lot more low-end fullness I, I like that as opposed to the dunes when you hit that full switch on the dunes it's just like overkill I know I always sound like I'm like a, I am a mythos fanboy I, I, but I, you know like Everything I've tried is never like overkill. He, that guy just adds so much as far as, not so much I meant to say, like he just adds nice amounts of whatever he's trying to do. I mean, that's only halfway. I'm sure all the way up full it's gonna be, you know. I mean, it's there, but it's not like, whoa. Still cut. Especially with the clarity, like the clarity control, turn that one up. That's sweet. That's sweet. I don't it's care. like usable at every setting. So usable. Yeah. I, I was wondering because I have the old one personally and. I like all that switching, but I don't need it all. <laughs> kind of wishing I got this one, but it's all right. <laughs> there's there's other days I can always buy it. Ah, I say that like every video. Oh crap, I'm buying it. <laughs> you know. But anyway, <laughs> um, of course, here is the JHS uh, on the 808 mode. Since we're kind of comparing, I'm gonna compare it to this and see what it's like. So this is the 808. <laughs> like there's more low end than at this setting here on this one. This just has a little bit more clarity. Pretty dang close. But this one can do so much like this is an old OD1 from Boss. Like why would they put a Boss pedal on here? Because it was kind of the first Tube Screamer Tone control is not in it at all. It was kind of like the first 
Tube Screamer before the Tube Screamer, I guess. Oh, so. <laughs> Here's TS9, which came after the 808. Let's hear that compared to the 808. Uh, hard to tell. I feel like the bonsai is kind of blanketed. Overall, it's still awesome. Huh. Anyway, there's a gazillion settings in there. There's like uh, TS-10, which is supposed to take out a little bit more bass. That's nice, I like that. I'm probably losing my audience here by uh, <laughs> fiddling around like a crazy man. But that is uh, basically, you know, if you're going to get a two screamer, if you're watching this, you already know what you, the sound you want. I'm just trying to give you guys a little bit of tonal options so you hear the differences. Please come down to the shop, try them out, subscribe, all that kind of stuff. I haven't got to comments for a while, but I will get back to them. Um... There's not much else to say except uh, come on down, try these pedals. I said that already. That's all I can say. Uh, join me next week. Actually, yeah, join me next week. <laughs> and I will be filming some more videos. I think I'm going to do a compressor shootout next. So we got a lot more different compressors. And it's kind of hard to, to gauge what I'm going to do next because pedals come and go. <laughs> There's been times where I'm like, oh, I'm going to do a demo on that pedal. And then they all sell out. So it's kind of like, oh, man. What are you going to do, you know? So, um, anyway, thanks for joining me, and I will see you guys next week. Later.